Why do I feel the need to complain? Nah, I can't wait to hear this. Because we're getting f***ed right now. Let's do a little recap. Just yesterday, $2.9 trillion was wiped from the stock market because people are fearing a recession. You do realize that when people pull their money out of the stock market, it's not wiped out and gone. You do realize they still have it. It's still there. It's just not in the stock market. Fearing a recession. Okay, so you want people to leave their money at risk where they feel it's at risk so you can feel better. You're, you're complaining that people are being smart with their money and pulling their money out because they're worried about what's going on. You do realize these are not just individuals. These are companies that are doing this too, trying to be smart with their money. You, you get that, right? Maybe a company you work for, maybe a company you do business with, you'd rather than risk their money, go out of business. I don't understand what you're, you're complaining about them trying to be smart. What? The U.S. fertility rate has fallen to a record low. It hasn't been this low since 1979. Why? Because people can't afford kids. You can never afford kids. We can never afford kids. There's never going to be a right time. You just got to have kids when you're young and stupid like the rest of us. People who wait to have kids, like, well, we just need to get a house. We just need more money. We just need more time. Got to get this. Get this. They end up never doing it. Just kind of how it works out. My generation, it also turned out to be a great motivator. You start having to feed extra mouths and you get real serious about achieving in life. Working hard, putting your nose to the grindstone and getting it done. Home prices have gone up 47% since 2020. The average payment to buy a house was only $1,200 five years ago. It's now $3,000. That has priced out so many Americans. Okay, on the topic of selling a house to too much money, listen, pay attention. A guy can ask a million dollars for his house, but if you're not willing to pay it, eventually he has to lower the price. If everybody goes, no, we're not paying these crazy prices, guess what? People will start lowering the prices. Will you buy my house now? I'll lower it again. How about now? They don't, not everybody can just sit on those houses forever. You guys are the ones who are making it possible for overpriced houses to be on the market because you're willing to pay it. One of you guys is willing to pay it. Then the next guy, then the next guy, if you guys would all just go, no, it's too much, guess how the free market works? They would all lower their prices. That, that's just how it gets. You guys are setting the prices on what's going to be paid. Not them. They can ask, but you guys set the prices on what you're willing to pay. The buyer. Also, if you think a house is too much money, either don't buy it, get a second job so you got more money to buy it, or guess what a lot of us did? We, we moved an hour and a half away to a city that we could afford, and we drove an hour and a half each way to work. Yeah, yeah, I know, uphill both ways in the snow. It sounds like that, but it's true. And now they're forced to rent, and yet rent has gone up 32% since the pandemic. Next. We've got the Social Security Fund that's going to run out in just nine years. So now you have millennials and Gen Zers not knowing if our Social Security is even going to be there, even though we're paying into it every single month. The Social Security Fund is nine years away from collapse. It's always nine years away from collapse. It's been nine years away from collapse since I was a kid. Everything we've always been told, Generation X, is it's going to run out. It's not going to be there for you in a year now. And it just keeps going. Guess what? It's going to be nine years away from running out when your kids are making videos about you. And then the government is spending more money than we're giving them in tax revenue. We've reached the new milestone of $35 trillion in national debt. Now we're footing the bill, paying the interest every month. The national debt always goes up. It doesn't matter what the administration is, Republican, Democrat, old guy, young guy, doesn't matter. The national debt always goes up. I don't know how to fix it. But when you come on here with the video and you say something like, hey, man, what are you doing? We, we got to pay for that stuff. We've been singing that song since the 80s. We feel the same way. That we felt like, hey, what are you doing? We got to pay for this stuff. And then the next generation millennials, hey, what are you doing? We got to pay for this stuff. And Gen Z and Gen Alpha. And as long as the debt goes up, all the younger generations are going to complain. I don't see any way around it unless you can figure out how to stop spending. We are $1.1 trillion in consumer debt. So you're asking me why I'm complaining. Why aren't you complaining? Why would I complain about credit card debt? If I get myself into credit card debt, I got no one to blame but myself, okay? I get it. You're going to say, well, you know, the circumstances change. No, you can tighten your belt. You can sell some stuff. You can get a second job. If you go into credit card debt, that's on you. It's on me. I'm not going to come. Why am I? You're asking, why am I not complaining? Because of my fucking debt. I did it to myself. 
No, 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 no. These were necessities you had. To, yeah, a lot of people going on Disney cruises out there. So fuck off that it's all just necessary. I had to, I had to get Band-Aids and I had to get loaves of bread. Yeah, okay. No, you're still playing Xbox Live, aren't you? You're demanding that I complain about a situation that your generation and my generation handle completely differently. Your videos are real good about throwing out numbers and getting people all riled up. You can be mad all you want, but the generations that are behind you, they're going to be looking at you the same way you're looking at us. They're going to make videos about you the same way you're complaining and making videos about us. So, hope you got thick skin because it's coming.